we've had quite a few bad wrecks here. People just don't like to stop at the stop sign. Like me. Christina Horrell works at a small store on the corner of what she says is a dangerous intersection. People just don't pay attention. You hear it, and then you're like, dang, somebody run a stop sign. One of the last ones that was the year, 18 wheeler was coming down, and all we heard was them on the horn. I couldn't stop. Car pulled right on out front of them. This is precisely the problem. There are huge vehicles that come along here. The speed limit is 55 miles per hour. Who knows how fast they really are going. And here at the stop sign in the past, drivers might just blow through the stop sign, disregarding it, or not even notice it's there. A lot of problems out here. As you can see, many vehicles coming 55 miles an hour on the main road on 421. And we've seen a lot of accidents out here. The Department of Transportation considered different options to help drivers notice and obey the stop signs. The original plan was to put loops 300, 350 feet down the road. Uh, the problem with that is you've got to you've got to run conduit, run cable uh, all the way down there. Cost them quite a bit uh, more money. Instead, they decided to use a Wavetronics Smart Sensor Advance mounted above each stop sign that detects cars as they approach the stop signs. So, what we're doing is we're looking down about 300, 350 feet down the road. As vehicles are approaching, we're picking them up and we're tracking them all the way to the stop sign. And as we're tracking, the flasher's going off saying, hey, there's a stop sign ahead, be, be prepared to stop. Uh, there's an extension on it also, so while they're sitting there for a couple seconds, it's still flashing just to remind them, hey, don't forget the stop sign here. According to the DOT, the solution using the advanced radar costs about half as much as it would to cut loops into the pavement and run conduit. And ultimately what we're doing is, is allowing the drivers a little bit more recognition as to what's happening at the intersection. I mean, something really needs to be done because we've had quite a few very serious accidents here. To learn more about Wavetronics solutions, visit wavetronics.com or schedule a digital traffic lab with one of our traffic specialists at wavetronics.com lab.